up, everybody, and welcome back to Jay's Kennel Corner. Hello. Hi, I'm Jay, and I'm here to present to you a homeworks review on the long-awaited <laughs> Golden Guava. It's finally here. Yes, we have it. Here we go. So, let's just go on and jump into some specifics here. Price point, $39.98 on two easy pays. On the QVC, dot of the com. There's that. This is your 18 ounce four wick homework candle. And with a burn time of 30 to 55 hours, depending on how you burn your candles. Yes? Yes. Now, with that being said, and out of the way, let's jump on into, first of all, the scent notes. The scent notes are golden guava, which you see here, pineapple, fresh agave, and sugar cane. Okay, alrighty. Let's talk about it, shall we? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about this golden guava. Listen, if you've ever had an actual guava fruit, then you would probably know that it has its own very distinctive smell that really can't be explained. It's kind of hard to really break down what a guava smells like. You just have to smell it <laughs> because it's not one of those very simplistic fragrances by any means in terms of an actual guava 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 taste wise it's kind of mild the mild uh, um the taste is very mild it's not super sweet it's not really tart it's kind of just there um it has sort of a florally undertone with the taste and the scent of an actual guava is very strong it's a very strong scent um a kind of kind of citrusy ish um for it to not really be a citrus fruit it, it kind of has a very citrusy thing to it um you do still get a little bit of that floral tinge but uh luckily in this candle you don't get any of those floral aspects at all and um that's pretty much how an actual guava smells now this candle if you never smelled a guava fruit, but you smell this candle, you will then know how a guava smells because it smells exactly like an actual guava fruit. Okay, what you see on this label is what you're going to smell. Guava, that's it. So, about the label, let's look at it, shall we? It is, first of all, beautiful as ever. Look at that label. This wax is high. Ooh. Um, very simple. It showcases what you're going to be smelling, which is the guava fruit. Now, guavas can come in a very green color like this, um, a yellow skin, and the inside can be this creamy white or a very like a pastel pinkish color. Um, I believe the pastel pinkish inside is a bit sweeter than the uh than the white inside counterpart let's bring this up here a little bit shall we and um but they but they're, they're very delicious um edible all around seeds edible skin edible very good now on cold let's talk about it the first thing i got was a bang of like pineapple that pineapple is very present on cold. It comes off as more of a pineapple juice than a fresh cut pineapple. Then you get the actual guava note. The pineapple and guava comes together so beautifully. You almost don't know what you're smelling at first. It's like, wait, what's my, wait, hold on. Is this guava or pineapple? Because they blend so well together, but it's funny because by guava not having really much of a very distinctive scent, the pineapple really gave it another, not, not tone, but another aspect to its scent itself. I don't get much of the um, agave, honestly. I'm not, not uh, on cold. The sugar cane, it's a very sweet candle when burning, for sure. The pineapple sugar cane is like, hello. 
But overall, it smells like guava on cold. When burning, that same cold sniff transfers over when burning. It smells like guava. Point blank, nothing that said straightforward guava. If you're looking for a straightforward guava fragrance, this is the candle that you want to get. In comparison to last year's Guava Sunset, that was very much more almost fruit punchy with the mango and the papaya added into the guava. It very much was reminiscent of BBW's Red Guava Lava to me. And this is more straight up an actual guava fruit scented candle. So if that's what you're looking for, this is it for you. Throw is about a good nine, nine and a half, I will say. Yeah, I had it in the den, and which, is, which, which was a two-car garage turned into den, sitting area, thing, place, that, yeah. So it traveled from there through the kitchen, down the hall. I got a fairly long hallway in my house, so it this, the scent strength of this candle is strong too i get about a good nine also the throw it definitely travels i will say it took some time to really circulate and get itself going but when it finally did find its find its footing it threw and it was amazing loved it the scent strength strong candle but it's strong in a comforting way it's not strong where it's heavy it's not strong where it's overbearing this is a very beautiful and relaxing and calming and just an off oh, like just type of fragrance. When burning, I believe the agave note is what gives it that freshness. Without it becoming green or very planty. But I definitely do get just just this freshness to it. And I think that's what the agave does. It, it, it gives it gives this softness and this freshness. The pineapple kind of becomes subdued. Um, it's not as in your face when burning, which is a good thing to me because I think if it was any stronger, it would actually overtake the essence of this candle, which is to be a guava candle. But it does give another tropically, tropically? There we go. Tropic, tropically, tropic. One of those words work in this sentence. Um, it gives it another tropical. There we go. Tone and and background. And it definitely adds another layer of this juicy tropical sweetness without overtaking the guava scent itself, which I don't mind at all, because sometimes you just want a green apple scent that's it sometimes you just want a blackberry scent that's it if you want just a ripe guava fragrance here you have it it's finally here we have it thank you harry for giving us a straight up guava candle it was needed it was wanted didn't know i needed it until i got it now that I have it, I need more of it. Okay. So, it's a very uh, beautiful fragrance. Um, I would definitely burn this after I've done, after I've cleaned my house, opened the windows. There's a nice spring breeze coming through. And you will have this scent just permeating throughout your house. And it's very inviting. It's very, it's very warm. It's a very uh, a cozy spring scent. And thankfully, it's not heavy because some fruity scents can be heavy. This is not heavy. This, like when I say it smells just like the actual guava fruit, the actual guava fruit does not have a very heavy scent to it. It's kind of mild. This is just like that, but of course, stronger. And it's it. I can't I can't get over it. It's it's perfect. It is the perfect guava candle so that's really the gist of this uh this candle here um i will say though backtrack a little bit the online notes mention passion fruit um 
No. <laughs> not not when burning. Uh, on cold, there's like a little smidgen of a passion fruity something going on on cold. Um, if you didn't know that was a note, that's well, because it's, it's not listed on the actual sit notes on the bottom of the candle. You would have you wouldn't even realize it was even in there. But on cold, there is just there is this little passion fruity something. But when burning, that just goes away completely. And you have just straight up guava. So with that being said, here you have it. Go ahead and guava. Boom, bam, thank you, ma'am. Hi. <laughs> so uh, check this out. If you want just a straight up guava candle, this is the one you want. This is the one you need. Comes in a set of two. Only on QVC.com. Uh, I love it. I'm sure you will. If you love anything tropical fruity. I mean, and I mean that as in just a straight up, straightforward, one fruit type of fragrance and you want a guava candle here you are finally thanks harry so that being said i love you all hope you all are doing well have a great week have a great weekend great day afternoon evening whenever you watch this video hope it's great hope you're doing great and uh, uh keep that smile on your face why because you look 10 times better with a smile because i said so okay okay so with that being said i love you all and until the next time, I'm out of here. Bye, guys.